Um, hello everyone. Uh, the channel name is Billionaires Club 101. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Um, just giving you some information about um, something that happened to me recently, which I thought maybe this would never ever happen to me. But of course, you know, sometimes other people's behavior may have encountered with mine. So this is the situation. I was driving, so I'm here located in uh, San Diego, California. And I was driving, this is probably about four o'clock in the daytime, still light out. Um, I'm at a stoplight. And I'm, I'm the first person at the stoplight. And then up to the left of me, there's about two more cars in the second lane. And then there's the turning lane. Now on the turning lane, the light goes green. I'm not paying attention to who's in the turning lane. But no, just seeing a car pull up behind me from the turning lane, realized it, it was the police that came up behind me. And I, I never get scared of a, of a police come behind me. I don't do anything illegal. I'm a law-abiding citizen. My light turns green. So as soon as I you know, scan the roadway, I continue to move forward, drive forward. And immediately, um, the sirens came on, or the lights came on. So I passed through the roadway and pulled over to the right. And the police officer, he um, got out of his car. My window was already rolled down. And I'm just looking forward. Don't want to make any eye contact. Just, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't know what the, the stop was for. Anyway, he sticks his head in my window and looks at me in my face. So I put my hand up and just kind of didn't respond to it. Sat there for about less than 10 seconds, but about five seconds he stares into my eyes, but like really close. And that was just a weird encounter. So he says, uh, license and registration. But I didn't say, you know, officer, you know, what was the stop for or what? I just get, I complied with what he asked me for. He gave him my license, registration, proof of insurance. And then um, he went back to his car, did whatever he was doing. Took him about five minutes or so. I'm just waiting, just not knowing what's going on. He hands it back to me and says, um, you have a great day. So, so I said, wait, hold on, officer. Let me ask you, why did you pull me over? And he said that um, he thought he saw something hanging in my rear view, the rear view mirror. He thought he saw something hanging there. And then... Asked him, well, there's nothing here. How did you thought you saw there's something hanging in my rear view mirror? He says, you have a good day. And I left it at that. And I'm, I'm not saying that this is a racial profiling uh, situation, but it's more of maybe he was trying to provoke me to say something and get out of line so it can escalate to something else. I didn't pursue it. I didn't know what was the um, purpose of me getting pulled over. Um, I'm not an attorney, but I feel that my rights were violated. Here it is. I'm in my personal vehicle. I'm not running red lights. I'm not speeding. I'm not doing any of these things. And just because he thought he saw something in my rear, hanging in my rear view mirrors, and he's behind me. How are you spotting me out of everyone who's driving? You see some, I'm in the first position and you're in the turning lane you jumped over and got behind me you thought you saw something in my rear view mirror instead of coming to my car sticking your head in the window, window and looking in my face for five seconds that put fear in my heart there are good police officers and then there's officers who are like that now I could have been one of these people who were belligerent and get out of character and be upset, be frustrated. But there has to be something 
needs to be done. I'm not sure if it's called Polish reform. I don't know about that part. But I should have called an attorney um, because it could it could have been a situation where if I had said something, maybe he was having a bad day. Maybe he was waiting for me to say something. If I didn't, if it was another person who was not disciplined and relaxed and be calm, what could that? What could have been the outcome? So I'm, I'm just, you know, if I had this phone number, I would have called and seek legal guidance of this is an illegal traffic stop. This is an illegal traffic stop. I wasn't speeding. My um, tags on the back of my car was up to date. Um, I don't have. I didn't have any window tinting. There was nothing hanging in my uh, rearview mirror or, or anything. Um, wasn't under the influence of any drugs. So maybe that's probably what he thought I was under some type of drug. But I wasn't swerving. I was at a stoplight. So now that I'm, I'm thinking about this, I said I wish I could have had an attorney that. Hey, this is a violation of my civil rights or my driving rights. You know, I can see if I made, did a crime or something, but what was the officer's point of pulling me over? So that behavior is just, it's, it's, it's not a good, as, as a, a, a law-abiding citizen, that put fear in my heart. So if any of you guys have encounters with the public, um, uh, establishments, uh, those who are in law enforcement, those who are in a position of authority, and they're a, they're not abiding by the law, and they're violating your civil rights. This is a nationwide phone number. And it goes into um, you get a call, and they it, they collect your information of what's going on, and then they have, oh, they'll have an, a civil rights attorney that will assist you in your civil rights matter. These are experienced civil rights attorneys. The phone number is 844-595-1504. Um, and just enough is enough. I'm not playing the race card. I'm not saying I don't know what it was. I know he was a white officer. I'm a black man. Um, I, have, I, have a, I have a certain respect for authorities. I know they have a hard job. They have a, a situation where it's minor, but then they can have a situation that's, you know, um, very panicky. And, you know, they get, you know, their adrenaline up. But I don't think that I deserve to be illegally pulled over. Him sticking his head, he stared right in my face for over five seconds. So I didn't know what that was all about. Uh, definitely, definitely put fear in my heart. I'm glad I didn't, I didn't act out. It's not who I am. Um, but there are not there are some people in this world who they don't tolerate some people don't tolerate certain things. People who they know their rights. You know, him sticking his head in my car just what do you what was the, the expectation of, or the outcome he was trying to get? So like I said, if you're um, feel that you have civil rights violations against you, here's a number. This is a civil rights lawyer. It's just not one. It's a team of lawyers throughout the United States. It's a nationwide phone number. It's 844-595-1504. I'll put this phone number in the description box below. Have a good day.